In this video, we will review how to start building your invoice in Monograph. To begin, you can either create a new invoice by selecting a project and navigating to upload invoice in purple at the top right corner. We can also do this by accessing the Money tab on the left side and within either the Invoice Overview, Invoice Index, or the Unbuild Report, we can also create a new invoice from this page. Let's get started. When we begin building our invoice, first we'll select our project. Below, we'll see the invoice number. By default, Monograph will suggest a dash 001 extension to the project number. However, you can use any numbering sequence as you see fit. The intention with our invoice number is that when we create the next invoice for this project, it will suggest or auto-populate the next one in sequence. In this example, if we're starting with 101, the next invoice created for the project will suggest 102. And then below, we will select our services through, which is the time period we're billing for. When we click Create, We'll observe at the top left corner, Builder, Designer, and Preview. We're going to focus on the Builder in this video. We'll observe a workflow ribbon across the top of our screen. This ribbon will mirror how your project was created, meaning that I have a combination of fixed fee and hourly services or hourly phase types for my project. If I only had one fee type, then I would not see the other. Similar with our consultant services, if consultant fees are allocated to the project, we'll see it here within the ribbon. To begin with fixed fee billing, we'll observe first our phase details. our status, our end date, and our planned amount or our phase budget. We'll also observe in the column next to planned where it's showing unbilled. This is where we can view all of the billable time that's been logged against this project or phase based on our services through. You can also quickly Select View Time Log if you'd like to view where these hours are pulling from. Also observe Milestones. Milestones is an optional workflow we may see when billing. In this example, we have percentages of completion, 25 and 75%, and the progress of these milestones are based on the tasks or deliverables once they're marked as complete. Please refer to our Learning Center for suggested practices on building milestones and tasks within Monograph. We'll observe any previously billed amounts and we can enter either the percentage or the dollar amount. For this example, I'll bill 50% for my pre-designed face. I could also enter in that number. So if I wanted to just add my unbill time, we can do so here. We'll set this to 50% billing 
for pre-design and DD. And once our amounts look good, we can click on Next. And we'll see our hourly services. Slight difference when billing for your hourly services, we will observe a caret next to the phase name. By clicking on this caret, it'll drop down and we'll see further information around the role assignment to each phase, the planned or budgeted hours, unbilled will still show any logged hours, and we can directly add them right here. If I'd like, I can click on add, and we've added our log time to our hourly services. You can also override this and enter that in manually. Please note that Monograph keeps your budgeted hours versus your log time versus what you bill out separate. So in this example, although we have budgeted 16 hours and I've logged 15 of them, if I needed to bill more or less than that, we can still do so. And once we've added our hours for our hourly services, we'll select next and for our consultant services, we'll observe any consultant bills that have been uploaded to the project, we have the option if we'd like to link or associate the consultant bill to the client invoice if we need to attach it as an appendix. And below, we'll see our breakdown first of our phase consultants, followed by our project consultants. The main difference when invoicing for a phase versus a project consultant is how they appear within the invoice itself. For this example, I have an MEP engineer at pre-design and SD. We'll bill for 50% of their services. Below, for my project consultant, this may be a consultant that has interface or is involved in the project lifecycle, can do the same thing. I'll indicate 75% for my geotechnical engineer and interior designer. And once we've added our consultant services, we can click on Next for expenses, and we'll see all of the expenses that have been logged in Monograph based on our services through. You can either add expenses as individual line items, or if I needed to add all of them, I can do so here. Once we've included our expenses, we can click on Next, it'll be at the top right, or we can click on the ribbon, and this will bring us to additional items. Within additional items, we will have the option. We can add other items. We may find if there is a line item charge or a line item discount that we need to include on the invoice that is not encompassed with any of our previous services, we can do so here. Maybe there's a bookkeeping fee charged by the firm. I'll provide a small description. The quantity field, this is a multiplier. And I entered 50. 
I've added my bookkeeping fee as a line item charge to the invoice total. We also see this used if we need to provide a line item discount. I can add an additional line item And if we needed to deduct from the invoice total, we can use a negative amount within additional items. We will also see the ability to create a retainer. Please note that if you collect a retainer or an initial deposit on your projects, we do recommend creating this as its own invoice first before billing out for your fixed fee or hourly services. We'll also see the option to apply taxes on the invoice. If you're connected to our QuickBooks Online integration, Monograph will import or pull in your tax codes and rates. If we have tax codes created manually with a Monograph, this is managed within our settings underneath app defaults. And we can select which services those are applied to. In our next video, we'll review how to adjust some of our line item options within the invoice designer.